Hi there, my name's Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in this week's ServiceNow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable table auditing in the system. Table auditing is a fantastic feature which allows you to track changes that are made to a table's fields. By default, not all tables have auditing turned on in the system. This is because it can affect and impact the performance of your system, especially for tables that receive a large amount of traffic. Once you have auditing enabled on a table, you're able to view the before and after field values within the history view of a record. Please note, encrypted fields are not audited. This feature is by design and cannot be changed. Now that we've covered what table auditing is, let's go into the system and enable it on a table. For today's example, I'm going to enable auditing on the hardware models table, which by default doesn't have auditing turned on. By turning auditing on for this table, we'll be able to see the before and after changes made to any hardware model record in the system. This will be beneficial for asset managers as they'll now be able to see which users are updating hardware models and what changes they're making. Now to get started, type in dictionary in the application navigator and click on the module located underneath the system definition application. Now from this dictionary entries list view, type in cmdb underscore hardware underscore product underscore model in the table column header and in the type column header, enter collection and hit enter. Click on the dictionary entry for the hardware model table. To turn on auditing, simply check the audit checkbox and click on the update button. Now if we head over to the hardware models module, open up a record and change some of the values on the form, we'll see the before and after values when looking at the record history. And it's as simple as that. Enabling table auditing provides lots of value and can be implemented in a matter of minutes. And that is all for today's tutorial on enabling table auditing in ServiceNow.